Hey everybody, welcome to the Forgotten City. Big thanks to the uh, Modern Storyteller team for sponsoring our look at the game today. Been out for a little while now and has received glowing reviews on Steam. Narrative adventure game, which I, I'm starting to realize I might actually kind of like a lot. After our experience with Road Warden, which was received very well and I had an extremely good time with, games like this I think are going to be right up my alley, so let's start fresh. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. That is... I can't believe that's, like, still what indie gaming is, and they're still pumping out stuff like this. The bar is nuts. Multiple endings, too. And yeah, feel free to use that exclamation point TFC command in chat if you'd like to check it out on Steam for yourself. Oh, pretty. Hi. Hey. Hello. You're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. Let's... I checked your pockets for ID, a phone maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? The facial animation is pretty damn impressive. What's my body type? <laughs> yeah, I think that's me. Uh, yeah, sure. And my name's Bear. Yep. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? Uh, it just What's the seemed last like thing fun. I barely remember anything. Hee-haw! Your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet, and you're 25% faster when sprinting. You have a military-issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously since there's no way to get more. There's... wait, there's no bullets anymore? I'm oh, I'm sorry, hang on a second. There's no bullets, but you have the only ones? I almost want to take that just to find out how that's ha happened up to this point. Really? You're a soldier? But why are you out of uniform? Oh, was it a black op? Are you a soldier of fortune? You know what? If I were, don't I'd have to that. kill you. I don't think I want to know. But this should be a piece of cake for someone like you. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. Al? He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. Alpaca Patrol? I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. That's a big fucking bug I would behind have you. I after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping... You wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? I'd like some information. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... I don't even know your name yet. What do you want to know? What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? No idea. You're not even gonna tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Not at all suspicious. Uh, why don't you want to tell me? All right, fine. Sorry if I sound crazy. <laughs> it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. <laughs> Is it because? My name's... Karen. Is it actually because your name's Karen? Because <laughs> that's... <laughs> it is a fucking meme. This is in the beginning of the game. All those Karen memes must have uh, really ruined. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems. Like finding Al. I did not expect that. Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing. Here. Go and talk and to the manager. Case, yeah. You'll like him, I'm sure. It's her superpower. Once you find him, that is. That's, I love that they made a joke out of that. You really don't remember? We're in Italy. Oh. This river is the Tiber. Okay. 
Have you tried calling for help? Have you tried just screaming? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. All right, then. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? All right. I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Quid pro quo. All right, then. We're in control. Good looking game. I want to get rid of some of this motion blur, though. Hang on. Uh, do, do, do All of it. Fuck it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like motion blur. Uh, oh. Ah, cool. Okay. Right on. Yeah, better not shoot my gun willy-nilly. Shut up. I got nine bullets. <laughs> That's a little choppy, but it looks looks solid, yeah. I think that might have actually been the motion blur too, weirdly enough. Desk pop. I just I like, I was pretty sure it was going to shoot the gun. I didn't want to make sure, though. <laughs> like, if the safety was on or something, you know? You'd think maybe he would take those precautions, given the limited nature of the resource. All right. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads... Whoa, what the fuck? I didn't get to find out what it said. Oh, my God. Reads, you oh, there wish we go. to enter the city. Step forth. And be judged. He was just virtuous, waiting politely. Shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. That's just like very heavily the chlorinated. The city have remained a secret for all this time. Could people have survived down there against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. Keep this shit real clean, man. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Lighting's good, too. Look at this. A warning. It's really well done. Like, the way that the water is casting those shadows up there is really impressive. I like that. Creepy. Hello? I heard somebody like sharpening a sword or something. Yeah, over there. Hmm. A Latin plaque, which, given its position, seems important. Only I could read Latin. Thankfully, I can. No, not really. Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? Hmm.
I'm gonna have to learn Latin by the end of this. Please don't make me learn Latin. I will if I have to, but I'd rather not. How tall is that? Jesus. That's a That's a big cave. Potesne me adere equals can you hear me? We got the the cultured in the chat today. Oh boy. Think I can make it? Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, freaking freaking walls. Come on. A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Sorry, let me blow my nose real quick here. Pardon me, y'all. I'm still getting over some sickness here. Hmm. This area reminds me of Elden Ring, actually. The, uh, the Morgat fight, I think. Oh! Well, that's not Al. To whoever reads this... That's I'm Al! sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here, there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you. Beyond that portal. Yeah, good call. You got a spare rope? No? Nah, that's cool. I'll just do this. See you! I guess I'll keep going. I mean, I could have told you that. Mikhail Movere. Uh, don't move, is my guess. Really like the lighting in this game. Sound design, too, has been really nice. You have nine bullets, you only need one. Oh, shit. To supplico me repairere. To supply my repair? I'm just guessing. Roman man on his knees as if begging his gods for mercy. The other person was praying toward this too, weren't they? Yeah, look, this this, this person right there was looking up that, that direction. Interesting. Hmm. Hang on. One sec. Yeah, okay. I beg you to find me. Okay, okay. Galerius, 
Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Just walking around. Shrine of Proserpina? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? Oh, I see what you did there, <laughs> changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the Shrine? Wait, are you speaking English? Misdirect. Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. What the heck? And you've just done it again. <laughs> I'm pretty That's tricky, aren't I? Aren't you? Uh, I'm pulling time. a fast one. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? All right, I came from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? Yeah, I'm pretty fucked, That's dude. That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Got a few screws loose up there. What's the day today? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. All right. It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? The, uh, the outer part. Uh, th that doesn't help me. Is this before or after Christ? Hey, not so loud. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Oh shit. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. No oh boy. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... You seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this <laughs> nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our <laughs> leave a lot of room for interpretation. To see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Wonder what this could mean. Lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But as you can see, oh, cool. we've got a nice little community now. You can just hit a and button to of us at the moment, follow your companion. That is missing. brilliant. Idea how, since nobody knows a way out, but it's just big and dark enough to get lost in if you're not careful. Aren't Beauty. you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's, uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Oh, yeah. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. <laughs> the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Ooh. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Wow. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. Sorry, hold on. I just realized. I think y'all might benefit if I do this. Because it looks smoother on my end. You better go with it. does for you guys. Just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. <laughs> Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. 
All right then. Follow me. Fine with me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion. Great voice acting so far, by the way. Anthony Brewing in one cohort. The legate in charge. Wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. Very rude. They just divided us into groups of ten. Made us draw straws. And whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. God damn. Really done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. Jesus. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. It you seems dumb. The rest. He's up these stairs. Do you mind if I say it seems like a dumb way of living? Have you all considered that it's kind of stupid? Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Like here? This can't be comfortable, man. I can't believe this was like the style at the time. She looks like she's breaking her spine in half. I only like that for like five minutes. I'm gonna be oh, another one of sore in like three bars, different spots. Dumb or not, decimation was real. Not common, but it was certainly done sometimes. Done and dumb. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Hey, buddy. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Bear. A curious name. To match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the posture of a soldier, though... I've not seen that in a woman before. You must be of the Amazonian people. I pray to Mars your skill set won't be necessary here, but time will tell. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. I don't no believe fights, you. I don't no believe theft. you. Nope, that's, Nothing. that's false. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? No, because this can't possibly be that. Nor could I, until I should have said yes. No, oh, I didn't. For this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one from what we can gather breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of medusa and midas combine turning us all to gold we've come to call it the golden it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. I've got a few. I've got a few. What counts as a sin? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? I'd of like the actual answer. The basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. 
What about lying? Insulting someone? Blasphemy? Trespass? Trying to escape? Bribery? Infidelity? Suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Let's stir the pot a little. You know, what's legal isn't always moral. Many of your customs and laws are considered barbaric where I'm from. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. That Your whole world is, is this cave. Light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. Oh, okay, maybe all not. our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us bombers. <laughs> Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? On occasion. But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory. Or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Of course. But with fewer rights <laughs> wow. come fewer responsibilities. <laughs> and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Ugh. Ew. Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war? <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh man. Well. Oh boy. Hi. I'm very glad we're asking these questions. Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half That's of the that's the one, yeah. It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. <laughs> Don't you practice collective punishment? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. This guy, yeah, he's starting to think I'm kind of a dumbass, huh? Where I'm from, those things are pretty now, shitty. You're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies. Oh, I'm not familiar, comrade. I believe you, though. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Huh. All right. These questions will be available later. Oh, well, I'll talk to you in a minute, then. Well, one one thing. What do you mean when you said, when you said Proserpina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Yeah, yeah I do. I live, I live down the street. Nah, I'm from the future. Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Well, they killed the Chaco Taco. Then they brought it back, though. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Why can't you investigate? 
Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me... That's well, logical. It pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. Why the fuck am I even the talking to you? would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. I'm gonna talk to the new magistrate now. That's all the questions I got for you. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Doesn't seem like I have a choice. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Yeah, fair point. Wonderful. I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Yeah. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia, at the Shrine of Apollo, in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. It seems like something's not right. Will do. Yep. Then we quick save. Get the gun out. <laughs> what is that thing? And why are you pointing at it? It's a gun! I was planning to kill you with it. Don't be so foolish. <laughs> we all die. Allow me to explain. When I discovered oh, the Serpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. It doesn't like him standing on the stairs while he's doing this. Golden rule is broken. I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. You see? Yeah, it's the same thing would happen melting my brain. They inadvertently allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here. Obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. So if I killed you, everyone would die, and I'd return to my original timeline with no way back. Indeed. I might need to rethink this. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Alright, I've decided not to shoot you in the back of the head. I'm glad we had that talk. <laughs> no, I won't. I oh, won't. Don't mind me. I just live here. Her, though. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, they don't really have, like, a frame of reference for this, right? No one's going to react like, ah, a gun. They're going to be like, what is that? Why are you pointing that at me? Pretty funny. All right, see you later, dude. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? you? Getting swole down here, bud? How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? He's right there. Dude, chill. That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the golden rule is gonna protect you. Got it? <laughs> As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. This guy's rude. 
What were you two talking about? Sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. I don't know about woman, but women, yeah, apparently. Thanks for the warm welcome. I'll see you later. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Uh, I wasn't. Now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Why shouldn't I? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Huh. Why do I have to do everything around right here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. He used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him. Because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, of course. A few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back <coughs> up, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw... A creature. <laughs> like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. What'd you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. That was fun. I'm still going to go down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. See ya. What's the worst that could happen? I got a gun. This dude thinks I don't have a weapon. Hi! <laughs> well, that was effective. Okay. You, you just dead now? Took care of it! He's dead! Y'all can come down now. Wow. Oh, fun. Okay. Ah, they can't support me though, can they? Alright, alright. Thought that would be deeper for some reason. Oh, it is. Oh! Cool. Okay. I think it was literally just this thing. Was it gold before? Or did shooting it turn it to gold? Important. It's freaky. I was like pretty sure she was. Oh, yeah. She's 100% turning toward me. Freaky deaky. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that. But I did. <coughs> There's a Latin inscription on the back. Send you death. Cool. I'll take that. Mwah. Hmm. I'm afraid of the water. For some reason. Fancy. Oh shit. Crushed creature. An emaciated human like creature spattered in gold. Crushed to death while entering the cistern from the cave beyond. 
Interesting. Ooh, nice. More money and a quiver. Seems good. Is it just moss or something? Yeah, I think so. How the heck do I get up there? Can't do it. <coughs> Pardon me. There's a chest in there. I don't know how do you reach it? Okay. Anything else? Is that it? I think so. Well, let's go tell him I cleared out the cistern, I guess. There might be a way underwater. Yeah, I think this is pretty shallow. Yeah. It's only like knee deep. I like just pushing open the doors. That's good. Hey, you're a little baby. I think it was easy. Couldn't stay away, huh, lovely? Ew. Alright, I'll be going now. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. I just wanted to gloat to you. I didn't want you to weird me out. Locked. Hmm. Let's go this way. boss told me to. I mostly just do as I'm told. Sorry, one second, y'all. I gotta go get my water. Just realized I don't have it here with me. Give me just a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, the statues clearly have uh, a lot.
lot of significance. Oh. Note to Octavia. An anonymous friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I cannot risk discussing this with you in person, but if I'm right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to openly worship here, but know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right at the first fork and again at the second. Cool. Okay. Noted. Steal 40 denarius? Not yet. <coughs> Pardon me. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Maybe on our way out, yeah. I'm feeling bold. The ink appears to be made from soot and water. Cool. Hmm. Oh, okay. Nah. I'll let them keep their money. I would imagine stealing probably breaks the golden rule, so if I get caught doing that, it might just be GG. Which would be pretty funny. Sculpture of Minerva. And we just tuck that over the banister. That would break the golden rule. Hi. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? Y'all were just waiting for me to get up before you started going downstairs, huh? All right. Hello. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Gross. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her. Or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Why didn't she just say who did it if she clearly had an idea? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. That would be your right. I'll get right on it. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Mm-hmm. Wow, locked. Wooden rack containing various ground and dried substances. May Apollo keep you safe. He does. He's a good friend. Oh, 
Not that one. Hello. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. I'm George. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? Miami. I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. Then you are an explorer like me. Wonderful. You must have many stories to share. I cannot wait to hear them. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Does it look like he's... He's like... He's got his arm out as though he's like getting ready to strangle me. But it's, it's a little low. It's like, all right, I... I we're friendly now, but if you if you screw up these conversation prompts, so you better be ready for a strangling little lady. My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forest. How'd you end up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you do remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and droning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. Sounds like you overdid it. Of course, of course. In any case, it seems I've been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Why set up a tailor shop here? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the Golden Rule, and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Pretty much. Yeah. Seems kind of unnecessary. I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? Yeah, fair enough. Anything you like. Who are you going to vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleon. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Anything I can do to change that? Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. All right, then. I'll be going now. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Now we got seven. Just got to take out everybody not voting for our guy. Only way I can see to do it. Where are you going? Decius looks busy. Yeah, Decius looks real fucking busy. Decius got a lot going on right now. I don't want to bother him. Hey, Virgil. How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Decius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons pen, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. <laughs> of 
course. Have returned. Our land. 21 months. Give me some bear hugs, please. Welcome on back and appreciate it. Hey, dude. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. I'm Dacius. Salve. Terrible shame what happened to you here. But we just have to carry on, don't we? Oh, are you the piece of shit that didn't sell the Sylphium resin? Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. It's, uh... Your price gouging over life-saving medicine. Oh, it's perfectly legal. It's simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. So you, you just have... Oh, take it, it says. Did you hear that? Hear what? Never mind. Uh... You sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another Navia on our hands. I've been a Navia. She claimed the statues were whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace, and we never heard from her again. I could have I sworn you said shat herself. How would I come up with a thousand denarii? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? This guy. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? This guy. Who are you going to vote for? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Certainly. Hmm. You know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Some people here, yeah, I hadn't noticed. Oh, yeah. Gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back, though. <laughs> I'll be going now. Very well. Another time. I'm gonna steal from you. <laughs> Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die in here? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? Well, let's find out. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, man. That was good. All right. Where's my autosave? <laughs> I just had to do it. The timing there was just too good. I hope so. <laughs> Galerius, what happens when you die? All right, we're back. You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me when you die, a ferryman helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Tartarus? Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus because they say I've been bad? I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, all right? All right, Galerius. See you then. Hey, buddy. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? Who are you voting for? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Well, you run. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. What's your story? Well, it's a long one, and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. 
One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground. Rough. And our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. Hell yeah. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. The next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt, and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. It's pretty frick, dude. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. Yeah, you, who's, who made the Karen Charon connection? Neko, yeah, no, I, that's uh, starting to seem like... That's starting to seem like what it is. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. Of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away, sometimes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's, that's interesting. Rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Hmm. What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here's got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing yeah. about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Yeah, I'm with you, dude. All right. See you around. He just seems like a good guy, but that might be a ruse. Hello? Hello. You know way out of here? You're going to let me out of here? <laughs> really? I shouldn't have picked that. That's not what I said. I'm not worried about you. Please. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh. It makes me very sad. How'd you end up in here? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was... looking for treasure. 
Did someone think you were stealing? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that all? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. No. Oh. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. You, you mean a... Liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you... You think you could read it for me? I've been known to read a thing or two. Magistrate Sentius to Duilius. I'm writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. Pardon me. While I'm sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. What does it say? It says they think you're really pretty. Uh, my treasure. What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after you. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. If you give me the key, I can try to find out what it unlocks. Hannibal. Fortune smile on your sister. Hello? I shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. Someone else here, apparently. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. But then why would you give me the key? Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Like Galerius? He's there you awesome. go! I like Galerius. Mm -hmm. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, yeah. he can get me out of here. And I can give you the key to my treasure. There we go. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. Isn't the I can't remember what Jesse? it was. Just that it was way up high and very precious. I'll get right on it. Bye -bye. Okay. Hi, stranger. Oh, I got a vaporizer running behind me, hover. And may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. That's what Why you think. Ask? Can I nominate another candidate? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Well, I'll be, uh, nominating Galerius. I like the idea, but I know Galerius well, and his position has always been that he won't run unless Maliolus withdraws. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only ever run if it was absolutely necessary to make sure Sentius wasn't re-elected. So, I 
suppose if you'd like to see Galeria selected magistrate, you'd need to persuade Maliolus to withdraw somehow. That sounds hard. Certainly. All right. See you again soon, I hope. Maybe I can figure out a way to do that. I did not do it duly. Bib I obtinti I love. Hidden meaning. Oh, this way. Oh, is this the... I can just take it? He's just sitting there. Oh, he's like looking right at me. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Who are you? Fabia, for now's not the time. Are you going to help or not? All right, I'll get on it. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't meet in there? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. Never mind. Uh-oh. Oh, there she goes. And she's Stop. dead. It's collapsing. I didn't expect to be so right, but yeah. Rip. Fabia, no! <laughs> oh God, she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Back to the store, then. Oh, no. Anyway, beware shrine may collapse at any moment. I mean, it's kind of on her, dude. She knew what she was getting into. Parkour? Parkour. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Bees? Where are there bees? Ooh, is that a zip line? That'd be dope. Cool view. Doo -doo -doo. Whee! Oh, all right. I mean, I was I was doing fine. I guess I'll go this way. Oh, I think I just got burned by the flame there, didn't I? A little tiny bit. <laughs> it appears to be for communal use. Best to put, put this back immediately. So, whoa, the only way out is, huh, creepy, quit looking at me. Head to the baths. All these fucking statues are looking at me. 
Every single one of them. Hi. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I don't know a Quinctius. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Okay, so now, let me explain something to you. I have a gun. So, whatever you want to do from here on out, just, just keep that in mind. Thank you. Now tell me. Who are you people, and what is this place? Let's put that bow down, you can come see for yourself. Oh, how very welcoming of you. You want me to let my guard down, is that it? You're not going to get your claws into me. I was told Quintius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. Homie's got one eyebrow perpetually an inch above the other. That's a mystery cult. Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. Always sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. The Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quintius did, those days are numbered. You've got the wrong idea! You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? Because if people show up with weapons, everybody could fucking die! So you admit you're not allowed to leave. It's not that we're allowed to leave, we can't. There's no way out. Threatening me is not going to help you, but in any case... How is that a threat? That sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? Yeah, because it's true. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? They were once people. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You're making a lot of leaps of uh, logic here, bud. You're distorting what I said. Yes, yes, because I'm the real villain. Oh, a billion it's percent, yeah. To me now. The Have you heard your voice? The indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. <coughs> your cultists. There's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such a zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem <coughs> yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. Hmm. What can you tell me about Quintius? Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says- Have we seen this dude? I don't think we have. Cult are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. How do you know he did that? All I know, all I care about, is that the Emperor believes he's <coughs> guilty and wants him dead. <coughs> the details are not my concern. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? I have no idea who or where he is. <sighs> Then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? <laughs> uh, have to, I have to choose this. I'm just reading the other ones real quick, but I 100% uh, have to choose this. This here's a gun! Uh, you'd squander your last words on an empty threat. 
Now it's my turn to tell you something. Click. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What? Oh! Ah! Okay! Ah! Run? I guess? Run away! Run away! Oh, fuck. Ah! Bob and weave! Oh, Jesus. No! Yeah, I didn't even get to murder the dude. They did it for me. Sentius is dead. Rip, I guess. Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Bear, and we've talked before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius. You're about to offer me to, or offer to take me to see Sentius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> No problem, see ya. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Zipline? Zipline! Yes! Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. Fuck yeah. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. <laughs> Don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Thanks. All right, see you around. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh! Plenty of cushion. I mean, that might be a harder surface than the wood. Sorry, just I'm just noticing. I swear it seems so much choppier than it should. For you guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it, sorry. Oh well. I'm your best behavior, I trust. What is it, citizen? What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Who are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town. Sure enough votes from Aliolis with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage. But he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolis. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Can I help? I appreciate the thought, but you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. You'd be surprised. Yeah, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get about doing that. Meet Maliolis. That is this way. Fresh meat, huh? Bye. In here? 
Ah, uh, that's where he is, apparently. Okay. Can't go in there yet. Let's see. Let me go you talk to this guy to again. There were a couple of things I could have told him. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, this just goes back up to the house, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I did want to go... Up the stairs further. Over to the right over here. I think I'll do that. No, I don't think that's Maliolus. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. I don't remember his name. I'm pretty sure that's not Maliolus, though. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being election day. Yeah, this dude's the guy that's been going around getting votes for him. Whatever. Just remember. I'll be watching. You're yeah, a right bastard. I'm gonna head up the stairs. Thanks. Probably gonna go. Hi. Name's Rufius. It's a watcher stick. What's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Seleucia and Tigris. Babylon province. But I've been roaming a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How'd you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Not much of a talker, huh? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I kind of want to know what it is. Dealing with what I am. What is it? None of your business. In Troy, the hits come in true. That's rude. If we have to. Yeah. Right. See you later, buddy. Whatever. See you later, buddy. He doesn't want to chat. Hmm. Seek a bow. I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. Do I have an inventory? Yes. I have arrows. But I do not have a bow. Hmm. Just check it real hard, yeah. Sick. Oh, I wanted to walk on the edges. game. Sisyphus? This is a little concerning over here. out here. I guess I gotta just road that. Doesn't realize. Hmm. 
Can I? Can I grab these? Or is this something that I have to find a different way to use? I think that might be the case. Yeah, okay. Oh shit. Whoops. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Underwhelming. Oh, well, let's go see if that lady's uh, gotten herself killed from the shrine yet. And say, wait, no! Read the sign! It's right there in front of you! Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon! You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule! I'll see what I can do. Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Don't. Don't do it. Do not go in there. What? Why? Just trust me. Uh, all right. Um. Fine. Come there. And find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Saved. Right. Don't want to go over there, though, because then that dude's just going to shoot me. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I can do that. Well, I'm an architect. Oh, at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. <laughs> Correct. Tell me about the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. What does that mean? I'm not sure. It could mean that the Romans who first started building here were just copying Greek architecture, which they do all the time. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Tell me about the architecture. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering. This is a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas. And the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina that fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. If they bring water into the city, couldn't we use them to escape? Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. 
I like indulging this guy. You mean the great temple? This once a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some <coughs> barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Hmm. Of course. I feel like you know a way out of here. You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe. Far to the north in Novio Magus, and learn to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. Why does someone think you're a sinner? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. I see, you like men? Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. Yes, I like it. When you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... what was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. <coughs> Pardon me, jeez. I'm sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes, too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? Ew. If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. Christians. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. I'll look into it for you. What? Really? <coughs> I, I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. What a nice guy. Come back and let me know what you find. What a sweetheart. Sorry, I turned the webcam off. I was having a little nausea there. I think I'm good, though. Ah, a fellow traveler from a faraway land. Greetings, I'm Georgius. 
It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. I really appreciate how smooth that was. In just about any other game, I would expect in that instance where, like, he had a voice line triggered by my approaching him, you would think that as it transitions into the uh, the narration view, that that would probably be interrupted. But it was so smooth. He just kept going with his line and then jumped right into this. That was really impressive. You want to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some questions. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? This is troubling, is it not? I am afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous, though. Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Aha! Perhaps you should ask her about it. This is our reward for keeping I Fabia alive. Again soon, my friend. Samurai Fuchs. Have Thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back in. Bear hugs, please, for him. Thanks for the support. She's alive! Shh, I'm hiding. <laughs> Did you stop him? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Uh, the rest of the missions to finish. Let's take that. I get it. You're a bear. Me too. Huh, okay. Oh, was it stealing? I didn't even notice. I thought it said take. Hmm. Oh, now we go in the shrine, obviously. Uh, you have returned. Duh. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. That's good. I don't know when my last save was. Let me know what you find. Oh, okay, cool. Let's talk to him real quick again. Yeah, the animations are all really impressive. Uh, there we go, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go talk to this person. A new face. Arveg, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Do you know how to get out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. What do you think about the golden rule? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We asked for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Buckle up, everybody. I got Wonder. time. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. Borsus and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. Lord! They go door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Borsis and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Borsis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine best pitcher behavior, I trust. keeps refilling <laughs> itself, as if by magic. I'm trying to listen. Realizing only a select few possess such powers, says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. 
and the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it. Except that's a that's a reasonable reaction. Grant a wish. So old Borsis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Here, here. Or it's maybe that the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their test and they don't even have to tell you what the rules are. A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. All right. See you again soon, I hope. Why well, we clear that up? What well, now? Nothing. I'm good. Actually, I want to talk about Scintilla. What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Sometimes fresh eyes can help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. You know, saying anything suspicious before she went missing? Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit. Her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Alright. Fine. Alright. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. Let's try one more time with this guy and see what happens. I'm just curious if it's going to play out the exact same way. Get the gun out first. Oh, I'm ready this time, bitch. Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Christmas, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Yes. I saw him worshipping him a small round shrine just inside the city. Second building on your left. <laughs> you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Oh, that's easy enough. Just, uh... You know, go ahead. He's right up there. Yeah, I swear, I just saw him. He's just chilling. Yeah, that's the one. Right on up there. Have fun. A bow! And a bounty notice. <coughs> All loyal sons of Rome are ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer Tiberius Quintius Crispus. Hmm. Sweet. Wanna work? Let's see what's in here now. Oh, wait. I want to talk to a uh, bakery lady now, too. But first, this. Oh, shit. Cool. 
seem to remember coming from here. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to Fabia. Oh yeah, I needed a bow up there too. It's all taken care of. You, you took care of him. He had a tragic accident. An accident? So, it's over. Oh God, that's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I, I do have a question though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you? No, it was going to collapse. Yeah, I did this crazy thing called reading. If I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. I don't understand. Oh. Uh-huh. I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. Mm hmm I promise. Nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry, I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? Ironic that you call her the first smart NPC reverse, given that her original fate was to be uh, the victim of the shrine herself. Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. Dooley? So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. <coughs> oh, goodness. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. Narrowed it down. It does help. All right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. All right. Tell me there's a notes section in the menu. I think so. I think it keeps all the information that you've gathered. And the quests. Let's see what the bow is necessary for up here. Do I use it? a bow for. I don't think I can actually just like get it out. Hmm. Odd. What is it? It's so creepy. So creepy. Nah, the bullets aren't refilled, I don't think. Well, oh, okay. Oh, come on, I can't use that? It's up from up there, okay. Oh, man. One last chat with this guy, see if I can break through his wall. Uh, you again. I want to know if you're the one threatening Virgil, bud. No idea what you're talking about. Fair enough. Uh, you know a way out of here? If I did, do you think we'd be having this conversation? That's actually a great point. Whatever. Not a lot from him. Alright. I've been 
been trying to push it. We're, we're going to wrap a few minutes early here for this one because I am starting to feel some nausea. But uh, this has been very, very impressive. And I highly recommend y'all take a look at the Forgotten City. Whether it's by using the exclamation point TFC command in the chat if you're joining us right now here live on Twitch. Or simply click the link down in the description below if you're joining us on YouTube. This is real pretty over here too. Look at this. For a game made by three people, a core team of three people, right? Yeah, goodness. Very impressive. So, recommend y'all give this one a go, especially if this is the uh, kind of game that is up your alley. A little mystery narrative adventure. Very impressive. The Forgotten City. Big thanks to the team for sponsoring our time with the game today. That's going to do it for me.